Hey, Chris, how you doing? Hi, Ron, doing great. How are you today? Man, I'm excited. This is such, I mean, this has been something you and I've been working on for a long time. I am so excited for our audience today and what we're going to share with them, aren't you? Yes, I am. This is a big material impact to site performance and marketing results downstream. So uh, let's get into it. What do we have for folks today? Well, so one of our clients we've been working with for a couple of years uh, is on the screen here, GFS Chemicals. And so this is a website that we designed and built. Um, they've got about 9,000 chemicals. They're a leading chemical manufacturer here in the USA. And so this is a site that I'm doing a lot of their SEO work. Um, and we've been working on the site for a while, and we've been doing some great stuff improving um, SEO performance. And so one of the things that I, as a marketer, couldn't really do was increase the page speed a lot, right? Because as a webmaster, if I'm not a developer, I'm pretty limited in what I can do, right? I can clean up some text. I can optimize the size of my graphics. I mean, there's a number of things that I can do, but it doesn't necessarily materially change the page load speed, does it? That's right. It doesn't. And I mean, there's a lot that you have to do to change the page speed with the JavaScript and the CSS, ultimately, and image sizes, et cetera, that frankly, most people that are focusing on marketing and SEO aren't necessarily going to know exactly what to do or even have access, right? Yeah. Again, I need a back-end developer or at least a front-end developer that understands architecture and structure of a website that can go in and play with and either, what's the word you guys use, minify the CSS or codify. You guys have all these terms that I don't know, not being a developer, right? You've got all yeah, these terms that you go in where you- can use, yeah, and compress, yeah. Yeah, you optimize, right? I guess optimize is a great word for it, generically. Um, optimize the code. So what we wanted to show today, this is something new that Clarity has come up with. We have built this and this is now going to be out of the box in all of our new Clarity e-commerce uh, installations for all of our clients. Uh, if any of you are existing Clarity e-commerce clients, this is something just like GFS. These guys have been on our platform. I think this one's probably what, three or four years old, Chris. I don't remember I when we rolled it out, but it's a few years old. Um, and we're actually redesigning and building them a brand new site right now. Um, but it's still a few months away from being to go out. And I needed, and I'm working frantically on their SEO and was working on performance. And so I went to the team and they had finished this feature for our newest version of Clarity e-commerce to be included in the platform. Um, so what they did was they went back and ported it to this as a test to see if they could make it work. And lo and behold, they did. So this is something that if you're an existing Clarity e-commerce client, uh, or even if you're not a Clarity e-commerce client, it's something we might be able to port for your e-commerce installation and even your web potential website. Yeah, it's it's not we might. It's a it is like you're saying though, like uh, it's something that we just finished development on. It's a SaaS offering that is married to our e-commerce um, by default, like you said. Um, However, what's really interesting, Ron, and this is news to you, I know today, and um, you know, we're just kind of clarifying together and excited about this, but it is a independent SaaS offering that any of our clients can use to dramatically improve their page speed, um, in particular Google page speed and just user uh, performance uh, when they go to your site. So what exactly, what exactly does that mean, Ron, and what are the benefits of this from a marketing and just overall website perspective? Well, the great thing about it is, I mean, we're no longer on dial-up, thank goodness, right? So <laughs> for the most part, everybody, even on 5G on their phones, uh, pages can load, but the experience can be pretty negative if it loads slowly, number one. Um, I don't think we care as much about that as we care about Google has now swapped their crawler, their bot, to the smartphone bot, right? That's the new default. So they actually load and render all of your JavaScript, all of your CSS, and load your pages mobile first and grade your rankings on Google based on your page load speed for both desktop and mobile, but they do mobile first. And that's where we see a lot of the penalties. I call them penalties, um, but it's lack of bonus, right? So when you're going against your competition and you need to do better, this is one of the major things that takes time and effort. And so everybody these days are doing the basic 
SEO. It's not enough just to go clean up your URLs, your meta, your metadata, right? It's not enough to do that. You have to be willing to do more than your competitors in order to win and, and outrank them. Um, and sometimes to do that, you have to go into the harder things. The harder things historically have been the link building, right? The external links, especially. But you got to be able to go in and do the internal links. You got to be able to go in and put the top down clusters and the champion strategies. There's just a lot that you need to do. This is one of those. Um, and so what we did just to show you an example was I took a page here and I ran it through Google's page speed analyzer. So let's go to page speed insights. And here is the mobile page. And you can see that we're doing fairly acceptably on the SEO, the best practices and accessibility. So these are pretty much acceptable scores here. But as you can see, where we really hurt is the performance, right? Um, now, the performance for this page on the desktop actually got a 93, uh, but for the mobile, it only had a 46. So this page obviously suffers. So this is manually running the page without our new implementation. So then we went back, and it's not the exact page, but I asked uh, the developer, go ahead and run one of the pages through and send me the report so I can show kind of what some of that is. Do you want to talk about this report or some of the issues with the report before like this first content painful is 5.8 seconds, right? That right there is the killer for us, right? Do you yeah. want to address anything else on this before we move on to the actual new results? I, I would just say it's just really disheartening if you're working in marketing to know that this is a factor, a ranking factor for your site and for some of your keywords that you're going after. <clears throat> Not to mention that it just impacts the actual user. Um, and, you know, I think that can be pretty tough uh, because if you look at some of these details, they're pretty technical. Uh, what we've done is we've essentially packaged up a solution that is SaaS based that will allow our clients to be able to sort of flip a switch on their website and fix this across their entire site, whether they're using our e-commerce platform or not. And so now we're going to show uh, what that looks like. And then we can talk about behind the scenes, high level, uh, what we did to accomplish this. Sounds good. All right. So what I did here was I took the screenshots and I just threw them side by side so we could kind of take a look. So this is an identical page with the desktop on the left and then the mobile. You can see up here, I've got the desktop clicked here and the mobile clicked here. Um, and you can see the scores that we're actually seeing here. So pretty, that mobile, the other one, same thing, very good, acceptable, high, mid to high scores on the SEO accessibility and best practices, pretty much like the one I just showed you. But look what happened to the performance on that other page went from a 46 to a 97 on mobile. And then same thing over here on desktop, a 99. And even though it was scoring, you know, low 90s before, now we're scoring 99s on the ones. So even though we had done pretty well on performance, we still made a marked performance improvement even on the desktop as well. So now with this kind of performance, this is not going to negatively impact my ranking scores with Google. So now I can go back and focus on the things that I can touch, which are mainly the accessibility and the SEO, right? The ADA compliance, the section 508, the alt tags, the ARIA labels, um, the font colors. You know, I might have to get a front end developer to help me do some, you know, some of the accessibility with the font size and the font colors and contrasting colors and things like that. There might be some things I'll need a front ender, but for the most part, most of this are things now as a marketer that I can go in and address um, and touch on the site. So Chris, I'm going to turn it over to you to now kind of dive into the technical application of what the solution is and how it works and and the redirect and, and what's actually going on behind the scenes at a high level. Yeah, thanks, Ron. Well, I, I would say like one of the first things is there's a lot as a developer that's not easy to do that we've put into an automated solution that's getting uh, the CSS that's unused and JavaScript tree shaking to happen with this SaaS uh, solution. And basically what it's doing is it's getting rid of code that that specific page doesn't need. Um, over the last decade, there's been a lot of consolidation of JavaScript and CSS into libraries that you can consume that are open source. And it comes with a lot of offerings. Think of a, like a Swiss army knife. 
for most of the pages of your site, you don't need the entire Swiss Army knife. So you don't want to load the Swiss Army knife in full for every page. You just want the one specific tool that you need for that page. So unused CSS and tree shaking of JavaScript kind of gets rid of everything that you don't need from these libraries that are open source. So whenever the page loads, we're, what we're doing is we're actually consuming it with this tool. We're letting the entire page load with all of the bloat that's there. And then we're using these uh, libraries that will tree shake and get rid of CSS that's not needed and then cache the page into its most optimized form, minifying everything, compressing it. And then we cache that for you for every page on your site. And then whenever the uh, certain browser visits come to the site, they're going to receive that cached version that's heavily optimized in lieu of a page that has to hit the server. The server has to load with the CPU and RAM. It has to go to the database. The database gets data and comes back and you know it takes forever. Uh, we're doing all of that uh, in advance. We're caching the site and we're doing this on a periodic schedule uh, at your, uh, you know, as per your settings that you prefer. And then basically making this available to search engines and users alike. And it is so powerful, as you can see from the results. Uh, the results speak for themselves. It's always nice to have green um, and basically almost 100%. Um, for every site, the results will be different, uh, but generally we are seeing that around 90 plus percent for mobile and desktop is is sort of like a baseline. And in many cases, we're getting results like this, where it's pretty incredible um, throughout their entire site. And this makes such a huge difference for users as well as for search engines. Um, it truly is a game changer from a marketing perspective to not have to worry about this anymore. Um, it's so frustrating and disheartening in marketing to have some yes. piece that you're dependent on that you can't really control, right? Yeah, and your rankings suffer and you're sitting here, maybe not full time, but you're frantically doing everything you possibly can from an SEO front to improve your rankings. The management team is looking to you to improve rankings and yet a significant amount of your penalty or what's holding you back is completely outside of your control. That's right. And so this, for the most part, just eliminates that, right? Yes. Um, and eliminates. And that, as it says right here, you know, if you look right here, you know, these are the things, the performance score is calculated directly from those metrics, right? And so if you're down here below uh, where you need to be, it is definitely factored in your rankings. Because remember, Google, the one thing that they want to do is serve up the best and most accurate experiences to the people coming to their site searching. And if you don't serve up a good experience, whether it's mobile, page load speed, whatever, you're going to rank lower. That's just what they're trying to do. Everything that they do in that algorithm is to try to serve up the most accurate and best results the quickest they possibly can for the searchers. That's it. And that's how they rank all of the content on the internet. And so for us SEOs, that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to go in and make the most accurate. We're rewriting the way we write text so it answers questions. Uh, you know, they ask the people also ask these questions, right? They've got that now showing up after like the number one organic results. So for the last 15 years, we've been trying to rank one, two, or three. And now all of a sudden, if you do FAQ schema, you can surpass everybody on the internet, but position one, just by answering a simple question on your page. Yeah. That's never happened before, and that's brand new, right? So they're constantly changing the game, and us SEOs have to watch that game, know what the rules are, know what the quote-unquote opportunities are sure. to rank well, and sometimes we have to change our game. So now I'm going back, taking pages that are already ranking well, and adding FAQ schema because I can make them even rank two times. I can make them rank as an organic result. And people also ask, I can show up answering specific questions about pages. And I have multiple opportunities now to make a single page rank. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And that, I mean, that's the nature of this is that as we continue to build out this offer, um, we encourage you to take a look at the links in the description area to follow along uh, with some of the add-ons that will include FAQs, um, as well as AI generated content that will learn what's on your site and on that particular page. 
um, and then make suggestions for internal links as well as um, additional content or content updates that might help you rank better. Um, and this is just part of the uh, the SaaS offering for uh, SEO uh, from Clarity. Anything else that uh, you think would be helpful for visitors to that part of the site, Ron, or just folks that are watching this video in general? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think everybody's talking about AI, right? So we have a lot of uh, interesting things we're doing with AI, with multiple AI tools. I don't think there's one silver bullet, right? ChatGPT is great. Surfer is great. There's a whole bunch of them out there now. Um, Typically, when I'm doing and using the AI tools, I'm using two or three of them to get the results that I want. So if you want any more information about SEO and SEO services and AI and how that Im Im is implemented and used within your SEO strategy, if you want help on the page load speed and what something like this would look like, please hit our website, clarity-ventures.com. Go ahead and request a quote in the top right corner. Obviously, it'll just schedule an appointment with me. I'd love to jump on a call, talk about your needs, your project and see if we can work with you guys. Look forward to it. Chris, back to you. Awesome. Thanks, Ron. And just for this product in particular, if you do want to mention that you're interested in the beta program, uh, you can click on the links in the description and you can get registered for the beta for this software as a service offering. Um, and of course, it'll eventually have a free trial that you can use uh, to get started and test it out. Uh, certainly welcome you to reach out as well. Some of the projects, to your point, Ron, are going to be really specific, and we're happy to chat with you and discuss your site um, before you know before you engage with this tool. Um, so thanks again, Ron. Uh, really looking forward to sharing more about this with folks as we go. Um, and until then, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.